Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Arma. Red Hammer this time. That's right. We're going to jump into the Red Hammer campaign now. I'm going to just do this because, uh, uh, yeah, same settings as before. Um, I was just testing it to make sure the campaign was working since I kind of ripped it from the old disc, the, game, the gold edition version of Flashpoint. Uh... This campaign's got some bugs, as you can see there. <laughs> a few small graphical errors, um, and some audio funk, funk that is pretty funny, actually. Coming in. Here. Those guys give me the now, last time that audio quip, when I was testing it, went all the. But yeah, this. Oh gosh. Apparently, this campaign was made by Codemasters themselves. Uh, I will say this: the voice acting seems to be a bit on the better side. It's not great, but it is better. Playing the Russian campaign. This is where I completely fell in love with the Spetsnaz. Like, they creeped me out in the American campaign. This one, you just fall in love with them. What you looking at? Spetsnaz are freaking ridiculous. Spetsnaz? They don't look so tough. When you're all grown up, maybe you understand. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I don't know. Yeah, Spetsnaz, I mean, really, you look at a Spetsnaz. I've seen some Spetsnaz guys. They don't look tough, but God, they'll tear the crap out of everybody. You see what I'm talking about? Watch Deadliest Warrior, Green Berets versus Spetsnaz. That was a one-sided sissy slap fight. And I just, oh, I could not believe that the two guys they got to represent the Green Braves are just douchebags. First we seize the beach, then we take time. They know we're coming. Easy. Once we secure the landing area, the radio for transport like and the game force will follow behind I don't know what's going on. These guys are amateurs. Our orders are <laughs> Storm the beach <laughs> I haven't played this campaign in ages, but I don't remember audio <laughs> skipping over each other, like tripping over each other. Apparently, okay, we're playing as Dimitri Lukin. This is the only character we play with in this entire campaign, but the, the, the sergeant there was basically saying, these guys are pathetic, we're going to walk all over the militia, we're going to take this on, no problem. Do that. Lucan's sitting there asking questions like, what are they armed with? Well, are they? What about civilians? You know, he's worried about civilian casualties, all that. The sergeant's just a typical commissar, like Red Army commissar, going, "Oh, you don't have to worry about crap. Why do you shoot things with your, with the AK? Just go kill. Shoot anything that moves. We don't care." Um, but Lucan's got. I like Dimitri Lucan. He's probably one of my favorite characters of the three campaigns. Uh, if not my favorite character. I love the one in Resistance. He's really cool. But Lucan is just... Lucan's awesome. You'll find out why later on. Um, but yeah, they basically start arguing. And then the sergeant looks at Lucan and says, I don't care where you were stationed. You're going to do what... Oh, excuse me there, guys. Oof. You're going to do what I tell you to do. And you're going to do it when I say it. And Lucan's like, alright, we're going to get everybody killed. <laughs> they don't go crying to me when everyone's dead. All right, everyone's been in foreign hands for too long. This morning, we are going to reclaim it. We'll form an advance party for the first wave of the attack, S securing our landing zone for the main force. On the west coast, there's a spit with a lighthouse. Boop! It is an ideal landing and, s and lookout point, and must be seized. 
If you encounter any civilian resistance, you should respond appropriately, but killing unarmed bystanders will not be tolerated. So be careful. Don't go wasting ammo. So, yeah, we are under orders not to kill civilians. We are an invasion force, but don't kill civilians. The, 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 the point of an invasion, invading army is to win the support of the populace at large. That's what's supposed to happen, but rarely it ever does. Now, I know when uh, the American army went into Iraq both times, they were under very strict orders of a return fire only policy and not to go in and shoot first to ask questions later, much like what we kind of did in World War II. Which still allowed the German people to come to our, our side anyways, because they got sick and tired of their leadership making them fight a, a losing battle. So, either way it does usually work, but you just don't want to go... But we weren't trying to be an occupying force, we were trying to get rid of the leadership, so therefore they did turn to our side. Kind of like what happened in Iraq, both times. But, for the most part, I don't understand what the people's problem were after the second time. I mean, yeah, we were acting as a guard force to keep you know, rebel units from sprouting up. But I won't get into all that. We're, let's talk about the Russians. Make your way to the lighthouse and capture it. Defend your location if you encounter any resistance. Once the area is secure, push onto the mainland and join squad Boris, who are attacking the town of Tyrone. Finally, no more wooden targets. No more training exercises. This is the real thing. Feels like home. Stuck with rookies and fools. It's just as well we're not facing a proper army. This lot wouldn't stand a chance. But it's good to be back in the front line, even if, ugh, there's no point in thinking about the past. At least I can take pride in what I'm doing now. Bring it on. Yeah, we are Dimitri Lukin. We have an AK-74, which I went over in the last thing, so I'm not going to go into it. I'll go over new weapons, but right now... I think we're all just armed with HKs. Yeah, that guy's got an RPG. He's got a PK. I think there's a few new weapons in this uh, gold edition. We'll get to them later. But I don't... The handguns don't come in in resistance, so... we got our RGBD hand grenade. I think it's RGD. Something like that. RBD. Something. I don't know. Let's get started. Let's go shoot things. AK. We're also backed up by BMPs that'll come racing up here pretty soon, but we are the Vanguard Force, the Spearhead. Eagles are rolling. Season hold area. No. Out. Okay, that guy's got a gun. Anybody lays down? Oh, you got a gun. Under fire! Oh no! One! He's down! Measure is two! Taking command! I say again! Two. Oh, that guy got lit up. Out. Hey, 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 hey! God dang it! Well, don't I get up in front of me! I oh, he's him. down. Three! He's down! These guys will... This, these civilians don't play around. Now, there's a couple guns we can get from them here. Cosley's is a shotgun. It's an over-under shotgun. I want the AK-47, goddammit, because it's an AK-47. Now, I'm going to see if I can get some mags for this thing. Let's see. Some biscuit. I can get anything else. The Cosley is, is a fun gun. You get up close to somebody, it does have buckshot. You can really tear into somebody pretty bad with it. All right, now I know the BMPs will have. Uh, you know what? I wonder. Let me check something here. Do they carry AK-47 rounds? Nope. All right, let's let's go. Uh, where's my AK? All right, let's load up on some AK mags because we're gonna be fighting at fairly longer ranges. At least two grenades. No, that's three grenades. One more. One more mag. There we go. Because you never know. Sometimes you can use a grenade. This is Eagle. But they're impact. The target area is secured. Wait until the BMPs have landed before moving on. And be prepared for a civilian counterattack. Out. Roman, this is Eagle. You've got additional inbound hostiles. Open fire. Out. Yeah, you better get your head down, dang it. Yeah, pick your head up. <laughs> man, I do kind of lit up. Now, the one thing I love about the AK-74, man, it it has like no kick to it. You can just oh, go, go freaking nuts with your freaking 
Is this a civilian driver's or driving his truck? Where did you come Thank from? You okay. The BMP is already established here now. Move on to Tyrant. Eagle out. Now one thing I always try to do is shoot a gunner. Or, or yeah, the gunner out of a BMP, because that'll make the rest of them bail out. And I think you can steal it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> There's all kinds of little things you can do in this campaign to just break it. Yeah, thanks BMPs for the backup when the infantry, you know, when the militia were coming to attack us. Losers. Now, I love the Ural. The Ural is one of my favorite heavy trucks ever built. It is simple. It is very rugged. And, I mean, look at the interior. The interior is actually pretty spacious. It's very simple. I mean, I hate that the speedometer is in the middle. I hate cars that do that crap. But you do have the RPM gauge over here, the tachometer, and I don't know what the frig that is. I'm trying to figure this out. That's amps. Yeah. Um, one of these is fuel gauge. I think that's a fuel gauge. Or this has two gas tanks. Well, that's a fuel, that's a fuel gauge. It's got half on it. The other one's supposed to be. Let's go. Two crouch stance. This first mission's pretty simple, but this part right here. This is the hard part. Because we've got to engage these guys at long range. Well, I should say longer range. There they are. There they are. Oh, yeah, there's one down. Under fire. Shelly, target man. One o'clock. Enemy man. One hundred. Okay. Man is history. Man. Man, man, and boy, boy. Clear. Under fire. Five target men. Eleven o'clock. Enemy man. One hundred. Yeah. You got an AK? You got plenty of ammo? Light them up. Sit down. And the AK-74 rounds, there's these 5.45 millimeter rounds, they are nasty! The Afghans called it the poison dart. Uh, or the po I think they called it the poison dart, poison bullet, something like that during the Afghan war. The Russian Afghan war. It was pretty nuts. Um, well, way to go. You just ran right past him and he shot you right in the freaking bag. Light him up quick. What did you have? Give me another AK mag. Roman, this is Eagle. Listen up. We have intercepted a civilian transmission. They're planning a counter-attack on that fuel base. Hold it at all costs. One no. mag on my 47. Come on, guys. I know you can carry at least four mags. Alright, well, we're down to what? One, two, me. We're down to three guys. <laughs> this is not cool. Two o'clock, man, 200. Huh? One o'clock, man, 200. Contact. Oh, go to two, one, three. Eleven o'clock, Soviet, two hundred. Oh, that's right, yeah, they attacked from... God, get out of the way, you dumb Soviet medic! Oh, target, Soviet. Three o'clock, Soviet, one hundred. Reload, Damn, come on. Philly, he's down. Eight, target, Soviet. Oh, I do want to go after where these guys are. Oh, what the frig! That dude shot me through a goddamn bush. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> no! Oh, you stupid freaking game. Uh, we're already going to start off like this, huh? You're just going to kick me right in the balls right in the first minute. Oh, You know, guys, you don't have to lay down when you can just, uh... Right. I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, that went pretty 
quick. We didn't lose anybody this time. Yes, Huzzah! Sir. The target area is secured. Wait until the BMPs have landed before moving on. And be prepared for a civilian counterattack. Out. That's two. Yeah, going in battle with a white t-shirt on and the swiftest move I've ever seen. Yeah, you can usually tell by how the enemies are moving as to whether they are toting a gun or not. Now, I, one thing I do know is that if some it is when you're in civilian clothing, you don't have any resistance to bullets at all. You will get the crap kicked out of you. All right, so give me two. Grenades and grenades in that. Okay, now one thing I want to do is empty out this mag. Get a fresh one. Grab another one from the BMP. Now, I've got full ammo. And everyone lived this time, including the machine gunner who didn't die right off the bat. Huzzah! Is there something in this house? There's something in here. Oh! Oh no! Okay, I warped through a wall. Okay! <laughs> yeah, this game does not like indoor areas. Come on, bring it up. Oh, You're gonna cut short on us, okay. I got a shotgun! Shotgun! Well, I'm in the middle seat with Sergeant McPants. One, ready. Three, waiting. Two, okay, then, on to Tyro. The BMPs will stay here and hold the beach for the main force while we clear the path ahead. Simple win we kill anyone who so gets guys in our idiot. way. That's it. That's the plan. They'll be expecting us. Silence! I the officer in charge. <laughs> I don't think we saw that conversation last time. Like it just didn't. Oh, that's right, it didn't happen because he died. Moron. <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of good that we did die, so we get the lecture dialogue there. Yeah, if he dies, you don't get any of that dialogue. Yeah, they. He hates me because I. Apparently, something happened in the past. Now I've got, I got demoted or something, or something's going on. Some kind of war hero or veter combat veteran. Okay. Don't want to race up too far. You just push. Crack her down. Dang. I know I got him that time. I got that guy. Good. See, the more I can snipe and pick off, the less they got to deal with. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Gosh, shoot. Well, I hit him. down. You know, guys, you have guns. These are not swords. Dang it, you get out of the freaking way. This ain't Call of Duty. Dumb. We lose anybody? Everybody cool? Everybody's cool. This is Eagle. Yay! Yay. We have intercepted a civilian transmission. They're planning a counter attack. Okay, on the I'm base. hiding behind this building. At all costs. Out. I will use long range support fire. But I'm not going to get run up on like last time. That's my ammo was like, okay, less than half a mag. Six o'clock. Unknown. Plan 200. Six o'clock. Unknown. Plan 200. 
guys got good guns. The Resistance has fun guns. Why do you see the Resistance sniper rifle? Man, that is freaking awesome. I wonder if one of them had it. Man, I sniped the crap out of you guys. Look at this. <laughs> yes, son. That's what you get. You know what I'm gonna get? What I'm gonna get? AK-47. Booyah! That's what I want. Shut up! We're here picking up ammo. Got a better gun. Let's see if I have a bigger round. Technically, it's worse in every way than the because uh, this is a, a checkmate AK-47. The regular AK-47 is a touch better, but it's a lot heavier. Now, Speedy, come on, behave, lay down. If you suddenly see my uh, crosshair going all ah, it's because he's bumping my hand. But, uh, they made the AK-74 do more damage than the AK-47, which doesn't make any sense. Even though, but the AK-74's round is a very good bullet. But yay, we're a Russian! Woo! I got a real, I got a real Russian gun now. AK-47, god dang it. This thing is very heavy. Um, I think it's rated heavy. as a heavy weapon. Uh, if you get wounded while carrying an AK-47 or, or the CZ-47, you can't aim at all. Your crosshair bounces all over the place because the gun's so heavy it's hard to get it on target. Well, riding in the back, but it was worth it. Pansy guns. Except you. you got a PK. You're cool. Me, I'm running around this old, rusted gun. <laughs> Same reason we fight them. They love their homes and would die to protect them. Sir, I... I feel sick. Pull yourself together, soldier. Your weakness could jeopardize the entire unit. Relax, just breathe deeply. You are going to feel a lot sicker before we're done here. <laughs> yeah, Lucan's... Lucan's a, is the cheerleader we here. He's, he's cool. Squad Boris for over 20 minutes now. I wonder what they are. Oh. Oh. What's wrong with your face? Oh. Oh no. Yeah, that's that's bad. Oh, look at that guy. With the mustachioed one. With a shotgun. Alright, so. Ah, motherland! Shooting at me. Oh, he's shooting at me. One thing I do know about that Coslice, hey, I can't get crap on that thing. But if he hits you, you're done. Oh, wait, those are swings running away. Oof. Nope. See, if you guys are coming around this way, you know, you're gonna kill them. Yeah, you see, they heard me shooting, that's why they were coming around that way. 
What's hard is that our guns all sound the same except for the Coslice, you can hear that. Man, kind of airy gunshot is a Coslice. It's a shotgun, like I said, it's a shotgun. They're fun. Hey! Mission 1, complete. Sweet. Here we go, Speedy, we did it. Actually, I'm kind of glad he's laying on my lap because he keeps me warm. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah! We've managed to establish a secure insertion point for our forces. With the town of Tyrone under our control, we are, we are well placed to launch assaults against the better defended inland targets. So, I kill five soldiers, and your kills civilians a lot. <laughs> we lost one guy. That's a lot. Jeez, that's a good start. This is the resistance. And they also have this really cool kind of flectarn looking camo. It's the bat phone. Yeah, we're trying to throw up a quick defense. But this is essentially the beginning of the American campaign, but from the other side. This is kind of a time parallel on them. Get ready. Next time for Let's Play Arma Red Hammer. Later, guys.